So believe it or not, another set of iPhones are actually going to be coming out very soon. But these are actually not going to be the iPhone SE 4 generation or the iPhone 15s. It's actually going to be another variation of a same iPhone that we pretty much have right now. And what these specific iPhones are, are the new colors of the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus. So typically every single year, Apple makes some sort of new variation color of their current generation iPhones. We saw this with the iPhone 12. I thought we saw this with the iPhone 13 and maybe with the iPhone 11 as well. So they do it, you know, at least historically they've done it before. Now what's going on is Apple's probably going to be doing some sort of briefing next week. That's what some people are reporting. And essentially iPhone 14 in yellow could actually end up coming out next week. So this is a very interesting color because I don't remember the last time Apple has done an, a yellow color. Maybe they've done it with the iPhone 11 or something. Maybe the iPhone 10 or they did it as well. So with the iPhone 14, this is going to be a branch away from their last couple of colors that they've done. They've done a purple iPhone 12 and another variation of the iPhone 13 as well. But now that they have both the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus, these are going to be one of the more expensive iPhones that they've done, at least with the 14 Plus, that they actually changed the color on. Typically with the Pro models, as far as I remember, they don't really change the colors of those devices. So they typically keep them the same. So with these ones, they will pretty much go ahead and change up the colors with this one. And it does actually look like with the iPhone 13 Pro, they did end up bringing some sort of alpine green color with it in April of 2021. So they do end up changing the colors every once in a while for the Pro models as well, which is really nice. So the reason why this is kind of interesting is, is because it looks like there's not going to be some sort of spring event for our, you know, iPhones or for any event. It doesn't look like, you know, there could be, who knows, but it, there may not actually be some sort of spring event Apple's going to be doing, which makes me think that a lot of the movement and a lot of the development Apple's been pretty much, you know, doing currently, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion as well, has been pretty much focused to their AR and VR headset. So this is going to be a very interesting year. We're going to start seeing bits and pieces of essentially what Apple's been doing with their AR and VR headset. And I'm really hoping it ends up being a pretty decent movement. And I hope it ends up being a pretty big industry in and of itself, because it seems to me from the you know, lack of iOS updates Apple's been pushing out and pretty much the focus in on a lot of other things outside of their iPhone and Apple, you know, products they have currently, I'm hoping it's a pretty big, you know, industry that they are getting into because from everything I can tell, it does seem to me that, you know, they are kind of stepping away from a lot of their main development that they used to do. And, you know, they're pretty much focusing on their AR VR headset. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.